uh, welcome back so in today's video i am going to show you a budget management web application which is created by using the google sheet and web app script okay so this is a dashboard and this dashboard have the two roles the admin and the user so we will explain you all the features step by step so first we will see the dashboard section uh, in our sidebar you can see this is a dashboard and in the dashboard we have overview of the system the total expense sales net amount the expenses and sales the act active users and the active projects so this is the expense section now we will navigate to the expenses so in the expenses you can see this total expenses the total records we found average expense on each project and highest ex expense is this and also we can apply the filters the date or project wise or the description wise and entered by particular user okay so let me show you the ad expense so when i click on this ad expense you can see this is a project and is available in the drop down so what if you need to add a one more drop down here one more project in the drop down just simply go to your project sections and first of all go, just go to the project section and click on this add project and here you need to enter your project code okay so this is my project code and i now i am enter here the project name so this is my project name and here's my uh, state name i will enter the demo and here's i will enter my name as well and click on this save project and when i click on this save project as of now you can see project added out successfully and now you can also able to see in your draw data tables on the real time so if you want to edit the data you can also update the data as well and if you want to delete you can also update the delete okay so let me show you the edit or delete is working or not so i just enter here the m ri demo okay so and click on this save project so when i click on this save project so now you will be able to see here the record will be updated here successfully okay so it means the edit is working now but about the delete so this is a project 3 and i want to delete this and i simply click on this delete so now you can able to see here cannot delete project it is being used in expenses so if the project is used in your expenses or sales it will not be deleted so this is the main thing you need to consider it's not a bug or error okay so when you go to your expenses section in the expenses section you can add the expense definitely you can add the subs uh, expense just simply click on this add expense and select a project which we have recently created and here the description how uh, room rent side okay so what is your document number you can add here the demo one two three okay what is the amount the amount is five thousand okay that's fine five thousand you can easily enter and remark if you want to add you can also add the remark otherwise not needed and click on this save so when you click on this save so now your expense added out successfully in your data and you can see all the records are also updated so same in the sales section when you go in the sales section so you can see this is a sales section the total receivable the total invoices and the total gst and the total data Deductions. and when you click on this add sale you just simply select a project this project the so number and the invoice number the amount is 5000 uh, you can add here the 5000 how much you want to add the deduction is the 670 and the remark you can add anyone and click on this save so when you click on this save your sale will be recorded out successfully so you can see this is your sale and if you want to edit or delete you can also do that and if you want to refresh the data if the data is not updated automatically you can do it refresh manually okay so now you understand the dashboard the expenses the sales and the projects now come to the quarterly reports so in the quarterly financial reports you can able to see here this is your quarterly mean your six month report and if you want to see the monthly report you can just simply apply the filters monthly and you can also also apply the year here and also apply the month if you want and if you want a yearly report just simply go to the yearly section and you can see all the yearly reports here okay and again if you want to lifetime you can also apply the lifetime reports here okay now these all goes now in the user section what does in the user section okay so here's the user can also see all the data but user can add or edit but not cannot able to delete let me show you it also as well so this is my user username and password i just copy this and uh, 
before that i want to show you the log section so in our logs section you can see all the activities performed on your portal on your system like you can see this is a user add sale this is a user add expense and this is a user update the project and this is a user add project as well so in the my account section as well you can also update the new username or new password so let me log out this and just log in as a user from here i just enter my user email and user password here and click on this login so when i click on this login as of now you can able to see here this is a dashboard which we able to show our user this will be the same nothing uh, happens just the difference between the admin and user admin can add projects or users uh, in the user side you can add expense or edit expense okay so this will be only the user roles remaining all things same as per the admin module so this source code is available in the description and it's completely free you can go and check out them and how you can set up it on your end when you receive the uh, link this link, google sheet link in the description you will see this kind of interference in front of you and uh, don't worry just simply click on this make a copy and uh, when you click on this make a copy now the google app script code.js and index.html automatically copied in your google drive with this google sheet so you can you can see this is copy of a22 budget management system you can also see this kind of interference just simply go to your extensions and click on this app script and when you click on this app script now you can able to see here the code.js and index.html is already there and if you want a custom project you can simply contact us and if you like this video you can subscribe our channel okay so now just simply click on this deploy and click on this new deployment and when you click on this new deployment you can see sometimes you will see this kind of interference don't worry about it just simply click on this setting icon and select here web app and execute this and who has access anyone and click on this deploy so when you click on this deploy so you can see it's updating the deployment and it will require some uh, authentications from your site so you need to authenticate access uh, for running this web application so you just simply authorize access and uh, select your email and uh, now just simply click on this advanced and click on this go to e22 and now you need to click on this continue and when you click on this continue now the permission is granted to this particular project okay now you can simply get a web app url which you can be used or you can share to your team members or you can share to your users who can access them online okay so this is a user uh, link and uh, you can simply copy and open in your new tab so you can see the free budget web application is in front of you okay so one more thing is that the most popular question you will ask me later how you can change this this currency setting so just copy this currency setting go to your index.html and uh, simply click ctrl plus f and enter this uh, here and just below and you can replace them with your dollar signs so what is your dollar sign this is your dollar sign and click on this replace all so now all the places is updated to the dollar sign we just simply click on this save and uh, just go to the deploy and click on this manage deployment and when you click on this manage deployment make it a new version and click on this deploy and when you click on this deploy so your web application is updated to the new changes so just simply control f5 to refresh its cache as well so you can see this is a login page and we just uh, login as a admin and click on this login so when i click on this login as of now you can able to see here my all the currency setting will be updated to the dollars so this is a method you can change hope you like this video you can share it with your friends who is interested in the coding tutorials you can share our channel as well thank you very much take care we will meet you in our next video